Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming here with another episode of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, uh, I was doing a lot of dumping of crap at home, <laughs> and I'm about to do a little more, but it was mainly because I needed to run to Falkreath real quick to buy and sell some of my stuff that I looted off of that giant, uh, buy a couple new things, which were semi-important, and, uh, just dump them in here currently. Uh, do I have any ore? Yes, I do. I'll just take one of these. Um, just drop these leather bracers here and uh, the silver garnet ring here. Okay, now with that out of the way, I think I got most of what I needed to drop done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, now I'm ready to head back to where I'm needed, which is all the way in Solstein should be not that long of a load maybe <laughs> hopefully whoa there we go the ash fall from red mountain has driven much of solstein's native wildlife into the northern half of the island well i mean yeah <laughs> that makes sense considering uh, my body's still sore a little bit sorry if you hear cracking from my shoulders oh uh, boy <laughs> Whew, my body. This week <laughs> has not been kind to me or my sanity. That's for sure. <laughs> there we go. Well, I was already aware of that. Believe me. Alright, let's head over to uh, where we're supposed to be. Just all the way over that way. Because uh, that's where we need to go. Alright. Alright. Just walk it because, I mean, we're already heading in that direction. Oh, trauma root. That don't need that. Uh, the scathe crow. The scathe craw. Either or. Works fine. Just get a little bit of that. There we go. Uh, is there any. I should probably, you know, have. What was it? Where is the thing? Uh, Conjure Breathman. There we go. Have one of those handy. Just on the off chance I run into something. Because it's easier to have one of them do it. Because a lot of my stuff is spec for fire. And this place is entirely resistant to fire, more or less. So. Best off to just have an extra on you. Protect your ass. Whoa camp's already set up. Oh, and they've already got to digging. Ah, look at that. Just a little bit of time and they're already off to the races. Awesome. Alright, now we just have to head towards that big old thing there. This is the thing we need to head to. Whoa. Well, hello. Those are the netches. Look at that. Just floating off the ground there. I have to assume that that's due to magic. <laughs> I have to assume. Okay, I heard bugs. Which threw me off a bit, because usually if I hear bugs, I have to kill them. In this game. Alright. There's the uh, thing I was looking at. Oh, oh. Prol Dolph's house. Heartstone deposit. Okay. This is a whole thing. Oh, oh. Oh, boy. Pop one of these. There we go. Have you deal with them. Alrighty. That worked out. Oh, and this works. Okay. He's not doing as much damage to them as I thought he would. Okay, I'll take out this guy. There we go. Kind of hoping... Rathman can take these guys out. Otherwise, he's kind of worthless. Ah, there we go. I knew you could do it. I knew it. You're my guy. I'll take that and that and take whatever this guy had, which was probably okay. That was a lot. <laughs> All right. A filter of health, elixir of health, 
brought or resist magic. Flynn. Wow. This is, def this is definitely one of those houses which uh, was just unfortunate for it to have burned because the person apparently was rich or had a lot of shit. Well, you know, that's how it goes. The uh, Heartstone Deposit, though. Uh, not entirely sure if I shouldn't mine this, considering Heartstone is a very valuable commodity around here. Well, if you're a very strong magic user. And, uh, once I find an opportunity to show you, you'll know why. There we go. Let's mine some of this down a little bit. There we go. And almost done. Perfect. All right. Good stuff. Now, let's head towards that little area we were supposed to head towards. Right over there. Again, I hear bugs that I feel like I should kill. Ugh. Every time. Every single time. Oh. He died. <laughs> well, I mean, it was a matter of time. Uh. Is there skills I can put points into? No. I don't have any points. I could put some points into Summoner. Well, I mean, not Summoner per se. Reanimated Undead. Uh, does the Wrathman count as an Atronach or a Risen Undead? I have no idea. Dark Souls. <laughs> uh... That is a thing. <laughs> I didn't know how else to respond to that. Oh! Right in the face. Right in my face. Okay. Oh. And gonna, he's gonna knock him around a bit. Oh! That's gonna get the stagger on him. And... I'll just let him take care of him. I know the Rathman can take care of this Ash Fawn. He's nothing. And down he goes. <laughs> nice. And ooh, quicksilver orb. All right. Well, they got a couple of them going. I just realized that I don't have proper shout on. There we go. That works. Okay. I hope that worked. Yeah, it did. There we go. And down he goes. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Or chuck him. I don't need that. I need silver. There we go. Good shit. Where's the other one? I saw another one. Supposedly somewhere. Uh, I guess he's in here. Dope or not. <laughs> Just a skeleton. And a knapsack. Ooh, I'll take that. That, not so much. I'll take whatever you have, which is gold. Whatever. I will definitely go after this guy who appears to be nowhere. Okay, come on. Why can't I move? Why am I stuck here? There we go. What's up? It's easy phase through the wall here? He's phased into this? Well, I can't get to him, so I guess so. Well, oh well. He's gonna be stuck there. For a while. I'm just gonna continue on with the quest like I'm supposed to. Even though it's, you know... <laughs> been what I've not been doing for the last few minutes. Alright, oh. Uh... Conjurer Wrathman here again. An invader has entered the fort. Prepare yourself for an ambush! Ambush? This is not an ambush, this is a straight out frontal assault. Also, it sounded like he was right next to me. Fort Frostmark will never fall. Long live the Empire! You're aware that the Empire is still around and you're long dead, right? I guess that's a no! Ow! Okay. Ow! Okay. 
What can I do? What shout can I do here? Uh, other than whirlwind sprint. Uh, fuck. <laughs> I don't have that many. Uh, drain vitality is really the only other good one. And looks like he avoided. Nope, nope, he got it. He got hit by that. And uh, head up in that direction. Deal with this guy. Oh, you little shit. And down you go. Ah, perfect. Take what you had. Ooh, you had gold. Nice. Take that for sure. And I will head down this way. Yeah, j between them and the gargoyles, they are one of the few enemies that drop actual ore <laughs> for you to pick up. It's really weird. There we are. Some more silver. Nice. All right, and is that it? Well, that seems like it. Seems like that's it. Not entirely sure what's... Oh, I can't go into there because it requires a key. A key I'll probably get in this half of it. That music. It's awesome. And apparently that's a callback to the uh, first time Solstheim showed up in a uh, Bethesda game, which I want to say is Morrowind. I might be wrong, but I want to say it. <laughs> because I might be right. Alright. Okay. Let's just continue on. With Wackadoo Risen from the Dead. Alright. Well, there's one of them. And down you go. There we go. Now I can do some actual damage to them, thanks to the upgrade I did. Thank gods for that. Otherwise, this would have been a long and arduous task. And you're dead. That was lucky. Alright, silver ore. Won't bother with the old shotgun. Mainly because I don't really need it. Alright, uh, adept chest. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Where? There it is. Fuck! Fuck it, ducky do. Okay. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Scaled helmet. Eh. I'll leave that. It's not as valuable as I want it to be. Pelt is worthless. Gloves! I can use that. I can use that for a thing. Uh. Whoop. And you're gone. <laughs> well. That was inevitable. Didn't want it to happen, but it, like I said, it was inevitable. It's bound to happen. What is going on here? Whole bunch of old Imperial stuff. Old Imperial stuff I do not need. I'll take those leather strips though. Whoa. Hey, an East Empire Company strong box. Which means I might have a couple of those amulets I was talking about with that one guy. I open it without breaking another peck a dicky fucky fuck. No, apparently not. Ha ha ha! Fuck you! Come on! Come on! There you go, ya fucking shit bird! Yay! Nice Empire pendant. Yes, and a whole bunch of other stuff too. Holy shit! Look at this. <laughs> nice. Perfect. All right, let's uh. This is a way up. Out of here don't need to do yet. Let's see what we got in here. Red apples. No. Not worth it. Not worth it. Uh, wine. Eh, not the bottle I want. <laughs> not the particular grade of wine I need. Okay. Or vintage, rather. That's the word. You can tell I'm not a big wine drinker. I was on a wine kick, but that don't mean shit. Okay. So, this is the way I do not need to go currently. What, what the? Okay, that's a plate, not a bowl that just phased into the thing like I thought. Alright, so we have to go this way. That's pretty much a given. Just down into the depths we go. And... Pop in. Yep, that's what I thought. 
Oh, shit. Fuck. Shit, fuck, fuck, shit. Shit, fuck. There we go. Skirmisher, huh? This guy's a little stronger. Ha-ha! <laughs> but not strong enough. Alrighty. I'll take that crew on. Thank you. And... He's gonna take him out handily. I'll just leave him alone. The oh, fuck? We got spiders. Well... <laughs> sorry, London. Well, we're gonna have to deal with spiders this episode. Ah! Fuck you! Stupid. Walking. Fuck. Ah, but do. What this? No? Fuck you then. How about this? Ah, fuck you. I'm gonna burn through all my lockpicks of this raid. Ah! So close. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. What do we got? What do we got here? Woo! Orca shield of imminent blocking. Steel arrow, gold, jade, and emerald circlet, which is always nice to have. Orcish axe of harrowing. And novice robes of restoration. All good shit to have. At least for now. Cyrodiilic brandy, how can I turn this down? Hell yeah. And how about ale? Yes. All that. All of the cheese wheels. All of this, this particular cheese. Because, uh, it's good for making, uh, elsewhere fondue, which is a specialty of mine as I can eat. Why well, did I go a bit Australian with that? I didn't know. <laughs> uh, that was weird. Anyway, pick all that up. Uh, but do. Maximilians. Max. Maximians. Have a tube here. A letter to Selena. Oh. This might be sad. Let's read it! <laughs> okay. My dear Selena, it's been a difficult day. General Carius ordered... Yeah, that's Carius. Ordered us to help the laborers shore up the walls since they're starting to show their age. It was back-breaking work, but without the extra support, those walls wouldn't stand up to a siege. Some of the men are grumbling about the task, but I don't agree with them. The general knows what's best for Fort Frostmoth, and I would follow him to oblivion and back if he asked. There's a supply ship due on Solstheim in a few weeks, and I hope to send you all these daily letters I've been writing. <laughs> wow. Daily letters. That's a, uh, that's devotion. For sure. <laughs> I hope you enjoy reading them as much as I enjoy writing them. That's a bit of a thing. I miss you, Selena, and I can't wait to see you when my time on Solstheim is through. Yours always, Maximian Axius. Okay. Well, there's one. Where is the sad part coming? If Euphemus, Euphemius, that's what it is, Euphemius, these names are weird, <laughs> was killed this morning by one of those awful rakelings. We were escorting a, uh, we were escorting, I can't read that, and I can't say it apparently either. We were escorting a supply wagon from Fort Frostmoth to Raven Rock when a war party of those bastards ambushed us from the cliffs. We fought them off before Euphemus. Euphemius. I can't. Euph Why am I given these weird imperial names? <laughs> I can't read this early in the morning. Euphemius was impaled by one of their spears. There we go. The healers at the fort couldn't do anything for him, and I watched him slip away as I held his hand. I don't know how much longer I can stand being here. My loyalty to the Empire and the strong words of General Carius delivers to us at each morning muster... And the strong words... That's... Yeah, that that's weird. <laughs> that's a weird grammar. Delivers to us at each morning muster are the only things keeping me going. Yeah, the muster does not deserve to be there. Uh, the supply ship should arrive tomorrow, and I promise to give the quartermaster my letter so they can finally be sent home. Give my love to the children. Yours always. Uh, I just can't read any more of those names. Yeah. The supply ship due in Solstheim hasn't arrived yet, and no one knows what's happened to it. I'll keep writing these letters in hopes that they can be delivered to you one day. It's awful being isolated on Solstheim like this, but General Carius tells us we need to maintain for Frostmoth for the good of the Empire. Yeah, about that. I believe what he's saying only because he's never let us down the wrong path in the past. 
but I'm wondering if anyone on the Imperial Council even gives a damn about this pile of rock. Four soldiers have died in the last two years at Fort Frostmont. It almost seems as though the Empire takes us all for granted and expects us, <laughs> expects us to sit out here and get chipped away at like the rock inside the mines. My posting here can't end soon enough. Yours always. <sighs> well, apparently... Oh, there's the last one. This is my last letter. I don't know if you'll ever get any of them, but I'll keep them on me in case I'm ever found. Something happened here, Selena. It was horrible. Something hap Something's happened at the Red Mountain, but I can't describe it. It's as if hundreds of oblivion gates opened at once at its summit, and it's spitting fire and death in all directions. Fort Frostmouth has been completely destroyed. The walls have crumbled like one... like like loose dirt, and the land is on fire. Everything around me smells of ash and death. I don't know where anyone is. I've been trapped in one of these lower sections of the fort, and I don't expect to be rescued anytime soon. I miss you, Selina. I want to hold you and the children in my arms and tell you that everything is going to be fine, but I don't think that will ever happen. Give my love to Syracuse and Atia for me. Tell them their father died bravely defending the Empire, so they can hold their heads high when they speak of me one day. And you, my love, when you close your eyes at night, think of me so my spirit can finally come home. Yours always and forever. I knew it was going to get sad. Well, sorry, bud. Alright. That requires a key, which I don't have. Fuck. Well, how about down here? Yep. Spiders still. Oh, it's unavoidable. Sorry, Lynn. Oh, okay. Oh, scammer sure. Okay, that's not what I meant to do with the camera. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'll take the moon store. Moon. Having to read Imperial names just broke my brain. That's what the problem is. Completely destroyed what sanity I have left, and now I can't speak a lick of English. Yay! Also, yay, my guy died. Damn it. Alright. Nothing really special going on over here. It's not from the look of it. Just a cave-in. Alright. Well. Nothing else that I can see being a thing. Although... This looks like an area that I have to confront people. I'll pop the sword out again after I pop Wrathman. Dude. Yeah, you're in my way. There we go. Thank you. This might be a ambush area. Knapsack. Uh, Fort Frostmoth key. There we go. That's what I needed. Uh, embalming tool. Apothecary Satchel. What is it? Yeah, resist poison. Nice. And I can use those. Use those. Ildari's Journal. Huh. It's been almost a month since unearthing the crypt at Force Frostmoth, and I haven't seen a single spark of life in the general's remains. Grafting the heartstone to the subject is proving much more difficult than I originally anticipated. Oh... Uh, that's how he resurrected him. Using forbidden magic! Yay! <laughs> Great. Fucking fantastic. I've used almost every method I can think of, and still there's no sign of reanimation. At this rate, I could it could be years before I make any progress, which is time that I just can't afford right now. If my vengeance is to come to fruition, I need results. If not, I may need to resort to more drastic measures. Vengeance for what? It appears that... I it finally appears that I'm making some progress. After my latest experiment, General Carius's eyes briefly opened and he moved his arms. It lasted for less than a few moments, but it's the first sign of progress I've seen since I arrived here. A few of my assistants were insisting that I was imagining things, but I dismissed them for their insolence. There won't be bothering anyone ever again. Okay. That's not good. General Carius woke finally today. Fully. Uh, he bolted upright after my incantations and began staggering around like a blind man. 
He seemed to ignore my commands. In fact, hearing my voice seemed to increase his hostility. I was able to remove the Heartstone before he became violent, but this isn't a result that I expected. Even though he's able to be awakened, I feel as though the real work has just begun. That was at day 59. That, apparently, it started at day 32, so now here we are a few days later. About 27 days later, actually. The general is still unable to, or unwilling to listen to my commands. He's acting increasingly paranoid and appears to have his own free will. He's convinced that I'm a spy or the enemy, and I've had to restrain him to prevent me from prevent him from outright attacking me. Huh. This is becoming intolerable. I'm beginning to wonder if something someone with a heartstone can be commanded at all. If my experiments with General Carius fail, I may have to resort to self experimentation, something I've been avoiding for a long time. Okay, that is weird. And I might want to take that. That's done the off chance. Ooh. Nullify. That is a uh, that is a way to definitely you know bring me something. Okay, I, I bring me to at least grabbing the thing anyway. Does 60 points of magicka damage. Holy shit. Alright, I just realized I'm way the fuck over time, and I feel I should probably end this episode right now. Mainly because my brain is starting to collapse. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and exploring really broken down forts, I guess, for you.